Hi everyone, it's Jojo, and um, one of my last videos I promised to um, tell you and show you a little bit about um, how I got 300 books free from a store that was going out of business. And obviously this is a very small sampling of the books that I got, but these are some of my favorite ones that I thought I would share with you. Last fall, my husband and I um, took a drive the one day to a neighboring town of ours and we were walking downtown and I came across a new and used bookstore. And um, I ended up getting one book. I thought it was really neat. So the following week, I decided to box up some books I didn't want here at home. And you can trade them in for different books at this bookstore. So I boxed everything up and I went on their Facebook page to find out what their hours were. And it said that they were going out of business. So I thought, well, that's okay. You know, I just am not going to go because I really didn't want to make the drive. And to be honest, I really didn't need any more books. I do love books. I love to read. But I thought, mm, it's all right. Well, later in the week, I got to thinking, well, maybe I'll go to that bookstore after all. I'll just see what they have. So I pulled up, and there was a sign on the door that said free books. So I walked in, and people had suitcases filled with books, bags filled with books, and I was obviously totally unprepared. Um, and there was a family there that gave me some of their bags that I could put some books in. And I asked the lady, why are all these books free? And she said, well, she overheard a woman talking about how the shop owner had, he owed her a lot of money. She was the owner of the building and he skipped town. And she didn't have a license to sell the books. So she had to just liquidate them and give them all away free. It wasn't advertised. She never put it in the paper or anything. It was just for locals. So that's how I ended up getting all these books. I, of course, some of the books were smaller, bigger, um, but I did count around 300 that I got free. And um, so I'm just now beginning to go through some of them. There are just so many. Um, but these are some of my favorites that I wanted to show you. This one right here, look, it's an autographed copy. It says Paul of France by Clarence Stratton. And you open it up. Oops. I think I'm missing the autograph page. There we go. It says to Mrs. M. H. Mann of C. H. S., which maybe is a high school of some sort in St. Louis, Clarence Stratton, October 22nd, 1927. Isn't that neat? Obviously, it has some condition issues. But that's so cool. Here is a older, I think maybe 1960s cookbook. I'm not sure. Oh, 1950, 1951. This one's really neat. It is a Technical World magazine, Automobile magazine, from September 1906. I mean, just the advertisements in this thing are amazing. Oh, so neat. I can't wait to actually sit down and be able to read a lot of these. I just didn't have time in the fall with all the holidays and stuff going on to look through everything, but I'm really excited to look through these. Here's some old popular science, Mechanic Illustrated. Here's some of the chapter books I picked up. And some of these are first edition books. Um, I'm not really sure what to do with everything. I'm, I'm definitely gonna keep some of them. Um, and then I got some newer books and everything, but uh, as far as condition goes, I wouldn't even know where to begin to resell some of these things. It's so neat. Look at all these old school books. It has some German books. Composer book. These are some joke books. I think these will be fun to go through. So yeah, that's the story of how I got a bunch of books free and I will slowly be going through them and uh, trying to figure out um, how to resell, if I resell some, um, what kind of interest there is for some of these books, but I'm definitely excited about it and uh, I just thought I'd share. I thought everyone would find this uh, neat, all the history of some of these 
And maybe you have some of these books. So that's everything for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, um, comment if you have any comments about any of the books or any of them that you see that you remember. Um, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.